WMAL salutes our listeners in Hyattsville. Thanks for listening in Hyattsville and throughout the DMV to WMAL. Now, from the WMAL WinBet Studios, O'Connor and Company. Good Tuesday morning, and it's going to be a big morning on Capitol Hill today as General Milley, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, faces off some congressional testimony. And coming up in 30 minutes, we'll give you a preview of that and what to expect. We are definitely tracking that story today. Some tough questions, I should hope, for General Milley. Uh, Julie Gunlock of Independent Women's Forum and of the City of Alexandria is joining us all morning long, keeping us company. Julie, good to have you. Thanks for having me. And thank you for putting this on my radar, as well as our friend Amber Athey, who will be keeping us company tomorrow. She's also in Alexandria, a reporter for Spectator, and she's been covering this story, too. And that is the uh, efforts to defund the police in Alexandria City. And, of course, that city council decided that they would start defunding the police, not with their own personal protection, not with the cops who actually protect these. Right. Uh, city council meetings or anything like that. No, no, no. We'll start with your kids. They defunded the school resource officers in the schools in the Alexandria City School District. And this is against the parents' wishes. It's against the school board's wishes. It's against the principals Principals, across the board. So uh, what are you doing? Well, you're doing what all the parents around this area are doing. You're trying to take this into your own hands, and you're trying to make a difference. So let's bring in one of those moms who is trying to make a difference and leading this charge to get those cops back in the schools. She is Molly Kyman. She is now founder of Return SROs to ACPS, and she is here PDQ. Molly, thanks for being here. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm well, thank you, but I'm, I'm outraged over this. Have I got this right, that, that the city council just decided on their own without any, any input from the school board even, that they're just going to take these cops out of the schools? Oh, absolutely. I think this decision was made before listening to anybody on our side who, um, those of us that are pro-SRO and think that they should be in the schools. Absolutely. I think that decision was made ahead of time. They did it during the uh, pandemic Uh when uh, nobody, when many, many citizens, many parents didn't even know. Uh, We just had somebody go out and talk to different uh, uh, pastors within Alexandria yesterday. and, And the pastors didn't even know that the SROs had been removed. They did this during um, the complete shutdown uh, when nobody was prepared and, and, and they only listen to one side and the one side doesn't even consist of parents, just as you said, parents, principals, counselors, school administrators, school board. It all started back in October 2020 when the, um, uh, the school board voted to keep the SROs, said that they were necessary. They voted six to three in October 2020. And then it was July 2021 when city council voted four to three. Now, uh, I mean, two of the uh, two of the city council members that voted against the SROs and voted to remove them aren't even uh, running for office again. Molly, Molly, this is Julie. It's great to talk to you. Molly, you're a good friend of mine, and I'm so thrilled that you're leading this effort. Tell me about the conditions in the schools right now. This is post SRO removal. No SROs in the schools. Tell me what Alexandria public schools have been like for students. Oh, I I think it's horrific. You know, I think uh, if people, there are videos out there and they're, um, they're very public. And I think until you see the videos, you don't even understand the gravity of the situation. You have no idea. We can all, we can say, oh yeah, there are fights in schools. You know, there are always fights. I mean, this is not the fights that we had one-on-one growing up. You know, that these uh, are violent. Was, these are extremely violent oh, fights. They're happening oh. almost every single day. And there are even yeah. Instagram accounts now um, that are dedicated to posting these videos. Mm. Correct. There, uh, you, that is correct. You are absolutely correct. And it's not only happening in the high school. It's happening in the middle schools as well. I mean, I'm not sure which to be more concerned. I have a son in middle school and a daughter in the high school. And it's and if you see these videos, you are absolutely correct. It is not. These are huge brawls, huge brawls. attacks against each other. And, and, and yes, and ahead. it is teachers who are having to intervene because oh. there is no SRO. So these teachers are having to essentially jump into this fray and and re- and remove the kids or separate the kids. And, and, you know, imagine they've also been injured. Oh, absolutely. That is correct. I've seen a counselor with a child that jumped on the counselor's back or the principal's back. Mm. Uh, the hired security that they hired two weeks before school started. I mean, you you can clearly see in one of the videos, one of the security officers, 
that supposedly took the place of the SRO being pushed down and kicked in the back. Wow. I mean, it's, it's absolutely appalling. In- Appal- it's just it's out of control. Yeah, and by the way, uh, 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 last week it was one of these fights that was uh, uh, spilled over into the Bradley Shopping Center and ended up with a yeah, shooting. Yeah, so just for per, right? just for perspective, Bradley is literally just, it's within walking distance to the school. It's right next door. Uh, a fight started at the public school, the Alexandria Public High School, formerly known as T.C. Williams, and it is spilled over into McDonald's and there was a shooting. Molly, really quickly, I want to just say that John Taylor Chapman and Kanik Aguirre, the two people who led this effort, They don't have kids in the public schools, do they? Absolutely. You are absolutely correct. They do not. They don't even have, I mean, they're not even the stakeholders. You know, Alexandria City Council always discuss stakeholders. We need to listen to the, listen to the stakeholders, listen to the community, listen to the parents. They have no children. Uh, uh, Chapman has a small child, but Chapman went to private school in Alexandria. (laughs) She has he has absolutely no idea what's going on in uh, Alexandria City Public Schools. No idea. All right. So we're outraged. We're angry. So now what can we do about it, Molly Kaiman? I know that there was a rally yesterday and another one today outside City Hall on King Street. Give us the details about that and how people can be a part of reversing this outrageous decision. You know, I, the bottom line is it was a city council decision. And so that's the bottom line. We have to look at... Uh, elections are coming up November 2nd. And um, I've written to the mayor before, and he has indicated that, you know, the current city council is still strong, uh, voting uh, not to four to three. So the four people are, the four city council members are still saying, no, we do not want the SROs. And you can clearly see if you go back and look at the school board, joint school board city council meeting last night. So the only thing that we can do is to uh, let them know that, you know, we, we, we know who voted no, and we know who voted against the SROs, and we can, uh, and we can fight to get people into city council. you got to vote them out. you got to either Remove recall them or vote them Remove out. Remove them, yes. Is there a I chance, mean, that's it. Is there a chance that the school board, since the school board already authorized this, can they, they're in charge of their own budget. Can they just, you know, move money around or reprioritize some of their budget line items so they can on their own bring the cops back in? Or does it have to does the funding have to go through the city council? Well, I think that the I'm not sure and I have to check into that, but I think the to have the cops back in school has to be approved by city it council. Ultimately, I believe it. Okay. It's so, part of the police. Yeah. It's part of the police budget. Correct. So they yeah. can't so the school board has no control over the police budget. That is city council. Um but Correct. usually but but I will tell you on opening schools all year the city council was like, "Oh, we have nothing to do with schools." And then suddenly yeah. when they want to defund the police, which this is all about. This is that all is about defunding right. the police and when they want to def- defund the police suddenly they're okay getting involved in school issues. Right, Molly? Absolutely. That is correct. I mean, it, it's okay. we can see that the same thing happened during the primary for um, Alexandria uh, City Council, the primaries. We can see that no city, all the city council members were like, no, we can't really get involved with the opening, reopening the schools after the pandemic. Well, you know, we don't get involved right. with school issues. Da, da, da. And yet, however, you can see, as um, uh, you know, a month before the uh, primary election, uh, John Chapman, John Taylor Chapman chimed in and said, oh, maybe we can listen to the parents and the concerned parents and maybe we can get the schools back operating. You know, and, and here's another thing I want to comment. We have had zero communication regarding these brawls and they are brawls. And if you don't if you haven't seen the video, you don't know. They are brawls. And we have had zero communication, nothing from a school board, from uh, the superintendent, or from the school. Yeah, and again, they are bringing weapons into schools. The, one of these brawls spilled over into the neighboring community uh, um, strip mall, and there was a shooting at a McDonald's there. So this is a serious issue that really needs to be focused on. And I hope the voters pay attention to this. Yeah, stuff. I'm looking at the images here of yesterday's rally, and it looks like it was a pretty good turnout. Let's double that turnout today. So- so that they know exactly uh, uh, what the feeling is of the parents and taxpayers in Alexandria. Uh, we got to leave it Absolutely. there. Molly Kyman, thank you so much for bringing this to our attention and giving us more details on it. Hopefully they will budge on this. We shall see. Thanks. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. You too. It's 815 WMAL traffic and weather every 10 minutes first on the fives. Let's get to Lisa Baden and the Hadid Carpet Cleaning Traffic Center.